hello friends. So we're going to go, uh, the last few videos that I've been making have been about JavaScript classes. And so I got a couple of questions about those. Um, we're going to talk about extending classes to other classes and how you do that in JavaScript. So basically what you need to realize is that if we have one class that extends to another, you still get the functionality of the first class with an object created in the second class. That sounds really kind of not straightforward when you say it, but it's, it's actually not quite, it's not, it's actually not that bad. So I'll keep the naming of these classes easy so we can, so we can understand what we're doing here. So let's just say this is a class and we'll call this a parent class, class parent. And uh, each time you make a class, you have to give it a constructor so it can outline uh, what each object is going to have, the properties that each object is going to have. Um, if you don't understand this, just go back to my last video. It was kind of an introduction to classes. Uh, so each uh, each parent object that we're going to create, it's, we'll just give it a name and a title. With literally just these are. I'm just trying to show you how all this works. So we, we just say this that name. This in this in this syntax in this case refers to the this refers to the parent. Uh, the parent class. So this dot name equals the name that's passed in, and then this dot title is going to equal to the title that's passed in. And so then maybe we can have a method, and we'll just call this uh, some parent method. And all that's going to do is just return uh, this is a parent method. That's what it's going to return. So if we create a parent object, we'll just go const obj equals new parent. And this works about how I like you thought the name can be parent and the title can be this is the parent title. And if we console log that obj, <clears throat> you can see that we get an object which has a name and it has a title attribute. And then we can actually run that method, uh, some parent method. We can run it and invoke it and it's going to return back to us. This is a parent method. Okay. So basically we're creating objects that have methods on them that uh, that has one method on them at this point, right? So it has, the object has these properties and the object will have this access to this method. Okay, so now let's say that we wanted to work with the extends, right? So we wanted to make another object that was a child object of this. So we'll go class uh, and we'll just call this one child just to keep things simple. So class child, it also gets a constructor because you always do constructors with classes. Even if you have nothing in here, you still have to put a constructor in there. But we will have something in here. So since this child is going to extend the parent, we're going to have to go class child extends the parent. And you see this a lot in kind of a little bit older React. So when you were building out components in React, if you were using class-based components, you'd have to extend react.component uh, into your class. So that's kind of the syntax. So our constructor for this, the only thing it's going to take in, it's going to take in a name and a title just like the other one, but we'll also give it a third attribute and we'll just call it a uh, third prop, which will be a third property. And we'll say super, which means that we actually want to create a parent. Uh, we want to pull in the, the, we're extending parent. So we want to pass in the functionality of the name and the title from parent. So in the child class, we don't have to put this dot name, this dot title, because we've already done that on line three and four of our parent class. So here we can just say super name and title. It'll get that from parent when we're creating an object. And then with a third prop, we can just pass in this dot third prop equals the third prop that's going to be passed in whenever we uh, create this. And then we can do a method here and this will just be some child method. And this is just going to return. This is a child method, right? So now we have two classes. One, uh, we have a parent class and a child class. The child class is extending the parent class. Whenever we create a child object, we're calling super on the name and title properties of it. So it's going to make a parent object right here. Basically, it's going to take the functionality from the parent constructor. That's what super does. It's going to assign the name and the title as we want, and then we'll have a third prop right here uh, that we actually pass in. So let's create an object for the child. So we'll go const obj, dang it, const obj equals new child. And then we'll pass in a name. It will just be child uh, title. This is the child title. And then another property, we could just we could just pass in a boolean of true. Right, so now we're going to create this child object. So let's console log that. Uh, where are we 
not so long ahead. Uh, and let's take a look at it down here. And so you can see we created this object. Let me pull this up a little bit so you can see. We created this object. It's a child object. It has a name of child and a title of this is the child title. But we never called in our constructor here for child. We never said this dot name and this dot title equals name and title. We did that with our super that we called right here because we extended the parent class. And in the parent class, we it knew that when a name and a title is passed in to give them as to give them as properties on the object that we create. Now let's try to run this some child method on this child object. So we'll just go obj dot uh, some child method, run it, and it gives us a function. Well, it gives us a function because we didn't invoke it. So when you invoke it, we'll actually get the return value, which this is a child method. Now, what would happen if we did this? What if we wanted to run the parent method right here, some parent method? Well, since we used extends right here, that extends this method into this class. So we can use this method with this class because we're extending the parent class right here, right? So we should be able to go uh, some, where's my cursor, there it is, some parent method right here and invoke it. And again, you can see this is a parent method. Now let's try to change this object from a child object to a parent object. And I'll show you const obj equals new parent. And it'll take in a name of, uh, or a title. What was, it, what was it taking? Name and a title. So name, parent, title. This is a parent obj. And then let's just console log it to make sure that it created. Now, what if we tried to run the child method on this parent object? So obj.sum child method, and we invoke it. What are we going to get? Let's see. We get an error. It says that uh, some child method is not a function. So it isn't a function in the parent scope. So the parent doesn't have access to it because the parent isn't extending the child right here. Just the child extending the parent. That's why the child objects had access to this parent method. But that's also why the parent method does not have access to this child method right here. So that's basic overview of extend, of extend super, and constructor within uh, class-based JavaScript. Now these, these examples that we gave, the reason I named them parent and child is so you could understand the hierarchy there, but it could be anything. You could have like a, let's just say that the parent method would be like an, uh, an automobile. And then you would have a class that extends automobile, which is a car. And then you have another class, truck, that extends automobile. So you can see how the hierarchy goes there and what, how you would extend other classes into child classes. So I hope it helps. Take it easy.